And welcome back to Hannity. Pains me to say this, but we warned you that this would happen. Protests erupting once again in the streets of Cairo. Millions of Egyptians are demanding the president, Mohamed Morsi, step down. Now, the violent demonstrations broke out on the first anniversary of his election. Now, the headquarters of the Muslim Brotherhood was overtaken and ransacked. Mobs of people threw rocks and firebombs at the building, eventually making their way inside. Opponents claim that Morsi has failed to tackle the country's security and economic problems. They want him out, but he remains defiant. He's vowing to not give in and leave his post. Now, earlier, Egypt's military set a deadline for an agreement to be reached. Now, they're giving Morsi two days to meet what they call, quote, the people's demands. If it's not settled by then, the military says they will intervene. Now, let's keep in mind who President Morsi is and how the White House has backed him in recent months. For starters, Morsi is a 9-11 truther. He's referred to the Israelis as descendants of apes and pigs. Back in March, Secretary of State John Kerry met face-to-face -face with Morsi. He announced that the U.S. would hand him over another 190 million U.S. dollars in aid. Well, that's chump change compared to the money that we're already giving. In 2013 alone, we are slated to give the regime in Cairo more than $1.6 billion. And don't forget, we've also vowed to give the Egyptians 20 American F-16s and 100 Abram tanks. Now, moments ago, Reuters reported that Morsi spoke to President Obama over the phone. At this time, we're not sure what was said. Here to react, president of the American Together Foundation, Mike Gauss, conservative blogger, author, Pam Geller. Um, we're also, Obama's sending over riot control experts and, and what, tear gas canisters to go against the people and support the Muslim Brotherhood radical Islamic extremist? Obama sent 140,000 tear gas canisters. Obama has committed himself to the Muslim Brotherhood government against the democratic forces. Uh, these protests are a huge repudiation of the Muslim Brotherhood, and this is uh, the United States and Obama should be repudiating uh, the Muslim Brotherhood and should start aside with freedom. We're not seeing that. If you noticed his tepid comments today, he merely urged restraint when there were 22 million people who signed a grassroots petition, 22 million, only 13 million voted for Morsi, 22 million signed a petition to oust Morsi. And here you have the United States of America, the president, saying er, he's urging restraint. I tell you, to be on the wrong side of history will place us in a very bad position when the next government in Egypt you. takes over. Uh, Mike, Obama paved the way for this. And I told you at the time that the Brotherhood would be in power. You said I was going to be wrong. Now, do you think it's right for the President of the United States to give money, F-16s, and tanks to a guy that views the Israelis as descendants of apes and pigs? Do you think that's the right thing for the President to do? I think he is doing an advisement. It's a protection money to keep peace with Israel. As Charles Krauthammer had said many times on your show, it's really a protection money. But personally, I think it is wrong to give money to Egypt when they're not complying with democratic rules. And this guy, Morsi, has got to go. And Obama should not send anything in support. He should hold himself and let people decide. Let the, uh, the Tahrir Square demonstration let, let them pull this guy down. The military has given him 48 hours. I think he's got another 10 right. hours left. I think they're going to take the action. I think military doesn't really want to rule. Neither the public nor uh, Morsi wants military rule, but they may not have any choice. Morsi is a kind of a dictator kind of guy. He's a kind of a bully. A fascist he's, an, guy. he's an Islamic he's not, extremist. Let's call him what he is. He is a radical Islamic well, he, extremist. I would not call him Islamic. He's an extremist bad guy. What has Islam got to do it? I'm a Muslim. I'm not an extremist. He, wait, he's like part him. of the Muslim Brotherhood, a terror organization that, and he referred to the Israelis as descendants of apes and pigs. The United States of America, Mike, should not be supporting him. Why wouldn't you agree with that? I'm agreeing with you. We shouldn't be supporting him. All right, so there and we go. I think we should hold ourselves down and let the public make the decision. He should come down. Morsi's he should aide, step down. Morsi's aide told The Guardian that no change will be made uh, without, the sanction of the, uh, uh, without the sanction of Obama. They, he is confident. Morsi is confident that nothing's going to happen because he knows that Obama is not going to side with the protesters. This is very dangerous. Yeah. He is consistently on the side of jihadic Islamic supremacist regimes, whether it was Libya, whether it was Egypt. This is a consistent anti-freedom policy. Let me ask, what happened? You were supposed to go to the... Uh... Uh, to Great Britain. What happened? You got banned by Great Britain. I was banned by Great Britain. I was supposed to lay a wreath 
on the site of the jihadi, the grisly jihadi beheading of a young soldier, a young dad, Lee, Lee um, Rigby, who was slaughtered in a public street outside of London What's by, the problem? by jihadists. Apparently, I was banned because, quote unquote, my appearance would be would not be conducive to the public good. And I submit to you, Sean, that freedom of speech is conducive to the public good. Meanwhile, there have been hate preachers, preachers speaking, preaching GH. Ch Adam Chowdhury lives there. Yeah, Adam Chow Chowdhury. But wait, they just let in Arifi, who preaches Jew hatred, who says they should smash the skulls of, of the infidels. He was just there in London. Over and over again we see this, and this is our ally. This, this, is, is, the, the, this is the nation of the Magna Carta is dead. Yeah, you know, Mike, I, I would think that you would well, agree. Go ahead. I agree with I agree with Pamela. I think there should be freedom of speech. They should allow her to go speak. If they want to do better than her, they can do it, but they should not stop her from going and speaking there. Yeah. You know, Mr. Gauss, if I may add something, last week on another show, you accused me of causing the death of a person in the subway system. That was patently untrue. You owe me an apology. You have blamed my ads. My ads were not even up yet. My ads had not even run in the subway. And, uh, and that was a blood libel, and I know that essentially you, you're dying to apologize to me, and so I'm going to give you the opportunity no, to do just all. that. Not at all, Pamela. In fact, your ads were up in last September. I was on Fox News when the ads were shown in the subway trains, and I mentioned the dangers of those ads. If someone walks in with a gun, like they did when a, a minute, Jewish guy said Rosh Hashanah, he was Mike, slaughtered. Why, was, why are you accusing her of killing somebody? I'm not accusing her. Yes, you her did. Posters cause danger to the people traveling in subway train. And why? in fact, there was why? a guy who got killed why, Mr. Gass, for mistaken my, identity. My, my ad said nothing about Muslims. My ad said nothing about Islam. My ad said in any war between the civilized man and the savage, you support the civilized man. Defeat jihad. Support Israel. Are you supporting jihad? Is that what you're saying? Pamela, I'm not supporting jihad. Nobody's supporting. So we're in agreement. But so there was a clever apology. way of saying you mean, no, I don't owe an apology to you. You owe an apology to the people who you are hurting and saying bad things about it. So now you're saying, you saying, truth, you're, saying the truth, you're saying the truth hurts people. Do you see how irrational your, your no, logic is? No, truth doesn't hurt people. Yeah. Yes. Truth doesn't hurt people. If you, don't support jihad, then do you hurt people. if you don't support jihad, then you support my ads. That's it, plain and simple. No, no, there was no, no, no Islam in my ads and there was no Muslim in my ads. The world is not black and white, Pamela. What the does that mean? What does that mean? Answer the question. Answer the question. You said you didn't support jihad. Jihad. How dare you, you accuse me? How dare you accuse Pamela. me of murder? And yet you don't bring up the fact that a, de a devout Muslim threw somebody murder. off the subway train. You didn't bring that up. All right, we got a break. We'll leave I it right there. I have always talked about it.